Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a spiral water slide. Now, I've already showed you how to make a small water slide and a little bit of a water box, and a lot of you guys have been asking if I can make some additions, and this is what I've came up with. If you want to see any more further additions to the water box or anything else in general, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. I always delve down there into the comments to see what you guys want me to build next. Subscribe if you haven't already to see all all of the things that you request. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360 and that's also a great place to get in touch with me as well. I answer as many people as possible on there. It's just a better format than the YouTube comments. It's much easier to stay in touch and to get replies with me on there if you do have some questions. Like this video if you wouldn't mind and also check out the card system, check out the description below and as I snap my fingers a link will appear on the screen of the picture of my previous previous water slide and you can go there and make it if you so choose. It would look great next to this one and honestly I have a few more ideas for this water park. I think that we can get looking pretty nice but that's more than enough talking. Let's go and build this one right here. So to make this spiral water slide you're going to need a few things. Grab yourself some block of quartz. We'll need some birch wood planks. We'll also need some quartz stairs. We'll want some birch wood slabs and some quartz slabs. Later on, we'll need some stone slabs. We'll also want to grab a little bit of fence, like spruce wood would be nice. Oh, we'll also need ourselves some oak wood planks. Almost forgot about those. We'll also want to grab some glowstone, but we won't need that until really later on. So, once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it very close to my previous water slide. Well, once you've figured that out for yourself, and I do think I'm going to build it right about here, I think here would be good. Well, you're going to want to get this build off with a single block of quartz on the ground like that. Then going upwards, backwards that direction, and just to let you know guys, it's kind of important where you start this build off. Like where this block of quartz is now, right? The way that this is facing, like where I've just placed this quartz slab, this is where the front of the slide is going to be, and it is going to go backwards that way. Well, from this block of quartz, I'm going to do five upward diagonals going towards the back of the slide. So that'll be one. Two, three, four, five. Like this. And just to let you know, just so you can visualize it a little bit better, from this very first quartz block that we placed, if you go right of it and leave a gap of three in the ground, that's one, two, three, and then on top of this fourth block, place a block of quartz. And if from this quartz you do five upward diagonals towards the back, that's one, two, three, four, and five you should better be able to visualize where this slide is actually going to go. So now you can see that this is kind of like where you drop out from the slide and this is the front of it. Just so that you guys know, I want you guys to build it in an optimal position where you're going to be happy with it. Well, let's continue on, shall we? So we're going to build the outer part of the slide first and we're going to come all the way up to this fifth upwards diagonal that we start off with this one at right here. And from this diagonal, we're going to want to move backwards by four. So that's one, two, three, and four. We then want to go right of that block, going that way by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to do three bottom right diagonals coming towards us by three. We want to do three bottom right diagonals. That's one, two, three and free. And I know a lot of this is tricky to understand guys, but it's difficult to like do diagonals in the air and stuff. Well, from this third bottom right diagonal, we want to come towards us by 8. That's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. We then want to do three bottom left diagonals. That's 1 2 3. We then want to go left by 8. That's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. We then want to do three up left diagonals. So that will be coming this way. That will be 1 2 Three. We then want to move upwards by two, so towards the back, one, two. We then want to do five upward diagonals, so coming back, that'll be one, two, three, four, and that'll be five. And let me just adjust my blends now, guys, if you'll just excuse me. Wonderful. And then come towards you by one block. Then do like three bottom left diagonals. That'll be one, two, and three. Then go left of that third bottom left diagonal 
by 6. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. You then want to do like an up left diagonal, going this way. We then want to go left by 2, that's 1, 2. We then want to do like two up left diagonals, so coming this way, that'll be 1, and this will be 2. Then we want to go forwards, that way, by 2, that's 1, 2. Then we want to do five upwards diagonals, coming towards the front of the slide, that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, and that'll be 5. We then want to move towards us by 1. We then want to do 3 bottom left diagonals, so coming towards the front of the slide again, that's 1, 2, and that'll be 3. We then want to move left by 8, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We then want to do 3 up left diagonals, so coming towards the back of the slide again, that'll be 1, 2, and 3. We then want to move towards the back of the slide by 2, that's 1, 2. We then want to do 5 upward diagonals again, that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, and that'll be 5. We then want to move towards the back by 1 block again. We then want to do like 3 upper right diagonals, so coming towards the back of the slide, that's 1, 2, and 3. And just to, there we go, that's free, I just had to amend that. And now we want to go to the right, so across the back of the slide by one. We then want to do three up right diagonals, so that'll be one, two, and three. We then want to leave it at that, guys. So the shape that we'll have should look a little bit like this. And I know this is difficult to follow along with, guys. Trust me, I sympathize with you. And it's really difficult for me to make this tutorial. It genuinely is. But this is the only way that I can think of to do this. And hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. You'll just have to be careful. Well, once you've got that part done, what we now want to do is we want to do the other half of the slide. And then once, once that's done, guys, honestly, the hard part, hard part is done. So once you've got that half of the slide done, you now want to come all the way down to the bottom of the slide. And where we have all of these diagonals on the opposite part of the start of the slide, we want to take this top diagonal right here. And we want to, kind of like doing a bottom right diagonal coming towards us diagonally, we want to do, well, a diagonal block like that. We then want to come towards us by 4, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Then do a bottom left diagonal, moving towards the left hand of the slide. We then want to go left by 4, that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. We then want to do an up left diagonal, so in this position. We then want to do an upward diagonal coming towards the back of the slide by 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, like that. We then want to go right by 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We then want to do like a bottom right diagonal, like an inwards diagonal coming towards us. We then want to adjust our plan so we can actually see what we're doing. And from this diagonal, coming towards the front of the slide, we want to do five upward diagonals. So that'll be one, two, three, four, and five. We then want to take this fifth diagonal and we want to go right of it by five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. We then want to do like a bottom right diagonal coming towards us. We then want to take a look at what we have here, and we once again want to adjust our plan so we can see what we're doing, and we want to do five upward diagonals coming towards the back of the slide. So that'll be one, two, three, four, and five. We then want to take this fifth diagonal, and we want to do three upright diagonals from it. So that'll look like one, two, and that'll be three. We then want to go right by three. That's one, two, three. And then what we want to do is we want to, coming towards the back of the slide here, we want to go up by 6. So backwards by 6, that'll look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 
And what you can then do is just leave it like this, guys, because what we're going to be doing after, and by the way, that is that other half of the slide complete, what we're going to be doing a little later on once we've done the backing to this slide is we're going to be doing the stairs, which leads us all the way up to the top so you can actually slide down this thing. But for now, what we have to do is we want to take out our old pal, the oak wood planks, and we want to provide a backing to this slide. And to do that, we'll come all the way down to the bottom of the slide. And we want to, just below and inside of the quartz blocks, we want to have a layer of oak wood planks that sits below and inside of the quartz, like this. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? It just looks a little something like that. Very easy. And this wants to stay true going all the way around the bottom part of the slide. So you basically just want to fill in the space underneath the slide where you're going to, well, have space where the water would fill out, fall out. <laughs> where the water would fall out. There we go. We finally got to the word in the end. It wants to look a little something like this. And by the way, I just thought of something very, very minor as we're here. We can take out the block of quartz. And you know the top of the slide, the side that we started on first, where we have this like top diagonal. It's actually a sixth diagonal. From this block, we can do like an outwards diagonal, come to the left hand part of the slide. And then we can move this block forwards until it can connects to the like the opposite part of the slide if that makes sense so you kind of like want to form a ring shape like this at the top and I just remember that and I figured before I forget about it uh, I just wanted to get that taken care of and what we have to do we just have to do this for the entire base of the slide so if you don't want to use oak wood planks to accomplish this you don't have to any kind of planks will look nice and you know what not even just planks uh, if you want to use like yellow wool is something that I toyed around a bit with a little bit I thought about using uh, dark blue or I thought about using like uh, like yellow wool for the actual frame of the slide. That that bit's a little bit wrong. Um, I thought about using like yellow wool for the actual frame bit of the slide, and I thought about using um, and I actually thought about using like dark blue wool for like the backing of the slide. So it'd look kind of like like a blow up slide or something like that. I thought it'd look nice and colorful. I decided against it in the end because I kind of like this. I kind of like uh, the quartz and the oak theme, but you could absolutely make this out of any material that you want. And I don't think that it takes that long to make this slide. So if you want to adjust it in subtle ways, or if you want to just destroy it and start a new one with different materials, then feel free. I think that this one actually looks really cool. I think it looks kind of like classy and modern, but uh, you guys can obviously, you know, make it in in any way that you want. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to follow my way if you don't want to. You can. Uh, you can make this look in. You, you can personalize this to you. I'm being a bit silly with these, aren't I? Now, so this uh, obviously has to be here. There we go. And then we can move this one block outwards, and we can destroy that block because that's unnecessary. And we can destroy these blocks, um, or can we? What have we got to do here? So this has to be here, and this has to be below. There we go. Uh, you've just got to make sure that the gaps are filled in the bottom, and preferably with as little as oakwood plankage as possible, just uh, just to prevent the slide from looking... I, I don't know. I it, it's When you use too much of something on things like this, it's very, very apparent. And considering the fact that I've decided not to add any supports to this slide, the less oak wood that you use, the better. Because I think it, makes it, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. It makes it look a little bit more modern. It makes it look a little bit cooler, in my opinion. But uh, obviously, if you want to add some supports to the slide, if you want to add some different colors, if you want to do this, if you want to do that, if you want to add some glass to the bottom of the slide instead, of this oak wood plankage. Um, glass would also be cool, but the, unfortunately, whenever you mix glass and water, um, it just it, it just gets washed out by the water. Pun pun semi intended. It just it just doesn't look right. Oh, and we've got to there we go. Uh, we've just got to place some oak wood planks. This is the last stage here. This is the little bit uh, coming all the way up to the top of the slide here. And we've just got to fill this bottom bit in. And boom, there we go. So, what we want to have in total should so far look a little bit like that. See? 
we actually have the slide part taken care of now. And what we can also do is building into the ground here, and we can just add a layer of oak wood planks like just in the ground like that. And something else that we can do with our stone slabs, can you see the circular shape of quartz that we have like just right at the bottom of this slide here? Well, we can take out our stone slabs, and you can do a layer of stone directly on the floor where you have the layer of quartz. So can you see like we have the quartz here, move down, place a stone slab on the ground like parallel to it and then you can just like run a circular ring of stone all the way around the base of like the splash pool so like this stone here if we go left it by like eight one two three four five six seven eight then if we do like three up upward left diagonals that's one two and three then we go up by eight that's one two three four five six seven eight we should still be running under the quartz of the slide it doesn't exist on this side but trust me it should be and then we want to do three up right diagonals that's one two and three and then we want to go right by eight that's one two three what Okay, that'll be one and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we want nine in total. Then three bottom right diagonals, that's one, two, and three. And then we can go down by eight, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do two bottom left diagonals, and you should connect all the way back to where you first started. And you should notice that that layer of stone slab sits directly underneath the circular ring of quartz, right at the base of that. And later on, we can just destroy this and we can place water in it, but we won't do it just yet. But something that we can do, because we're not going to be doing it to the stairs, is underneath certain parts of the slide you might feel that you want to place some spruce wood fence like on the corners of each particular end of the slide like there's some spruce fence coming downwards and some hanging glowstone lights so I like it right here on the front part but I also like it back here on the back so like where we have um, the two corners like right at the back so like here I like glowstone and I like it on the opposite end here as well so it's right here and we have glowstone right there. And then I also like it on the front here where we can see this bit that's hanging here. And we place it on each corner. And then we have the glowstone hanging down here and here. And I don't know if there's any other bit. Oh, we can also hang have it hanging down from the top if we so choose. So we can have it like hanging here and here. Although they're a little bit close together at that, aren't they? So we might not we might not have that. But everywhere else it's kind of, it kind of looks cool. Or at least I like it. And if you want to add a different kind of theme to this, you could add some vines. You could have some like swinging vines if you want to very very easily turn this into maybe a bit more like of an adventure slide. Well once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. It's very easy what we do next. We take out our block of quartz, we come to the bottom left-hand side of the slide, which is this bit, the circular bit. Can you see where we have this corner block near the bottom of the stairs on the left-hand side? We take this front corner and we connect it to the ground diagonally with quartz. So connect it down to the ground diagonally with quartz like that. Very, very simple. Well, once you've done that, what we now have to do is we have to add a stairs going all the way around the outside of the slide. The stairs look like this. We have a layer of quartz, block of quartz that is one row away from this layer of block of quartz that we have here. And this layer of block of quartz, it goes all the way all the way up and around the slide and it stays one block away from the slide at all times so um, I'm just doing the first bit here just to show you so this is like the stairway can you see how it's like it's the same as the stairs the opposite side but it is just one row away coming outwards and the same is true as you come around the bend here so as you come around the bend it just wants to at all times be one block away so if you can see what I'm talking about it just wants to at all times be one block away just from the slide and it just wants to go all the way around the outside of it so just make sure that it's one block away there's nothing there's nothing really complicated about this whatsoever we just want to make sure that it just maintains the distance because we do want to be able to walk up and around this slide and we just want to trace along the outside of it the outside quartz layer and we just want to make this look as nice as possible so we're just going to have diagonals here 
And you can make the walkway bigger if you like, you can make it a little bit smaller, you can make it a different colour, you can do what you like. But this is what I'm doing for mine. We're going all the way around the outside, we're maintaining a distance of one, we're making sure that it doesn't connect at the corners, and it just runs parallel to the outer row of quartz that we have on the outside part of the side. And uh, it just follows its curvature nicely, and uh, hopefully you guys can see how I'm doing this. I hope that it's not difficult at all, I'm sure that, I'm sure that you guys are picking up uh, what I'm doing here. Here. And when you eventually get to the top of the slide here, so like we're, we're parallel to the outer part of the slide, we take this top diagonal, we connect it back to all the way up at the top here, and we should have something which should look a little bit like that. And uh, just to show you from like the front out of view, you can now see that we have the layer of uh, we have the layer of quartz running running all the way up the side of the slide. And to fill this in, we're going to need some materials. We're going to need uh, stuff that we actually don't have. We'll just need some birchwood stairs, and we'll need a little bit of a uh, birchwood plank slab as well. So for this slide. Um, the walkway, I've decided that it's going to be birch wood, and we, jas we basically just want to make it so that we can walk all the way up. We, we just want to make it so that we can walk all the way up this slide. I mean, there's there's nothing nothing to be said about it. But um, where you don't have stairs, I'd like the areas, like where you don't have stairs, to be a uh, slab. So can you see here, like you have stairs leading all the way up because it's necessary. And then I'd like it if the slab's connected to the top of the stairs and you had like a full block um, either side of you to walk up. But then when you get to the next part here, we're going to have to have stairs again. Can you see what I'm talking about? It's difficult to kind of like explain, but uh, hopefully it's quite easy to see what you have to do. So slabs on the parts where you don't have to climb and stairs on the parts where you do have to climb. And you just want to make sure that you don't uh, you don't place them in the wrong place. Um, I like the slabs just one or just half a block really, half a block below the actual uh, quartz. I like it to just sit underneath there and um, that's where I like it. You might feel a little bit differently, you might want it elsewhere, but I, I like it where I like it, and I'm sure that you guys do as well, so you guys can have it where you, uh, wherever you want to, wherever you want to put the birch, that's completely up to you, but I like it, I'm sat underneath, I like the little effect that it gives, uh, I just think it makes it look a little bit nicer, so here we have the stairs here, moving all the way up to the top, and we're going to have the slabs, so moving inwards here, so we're going to place these slabs, whoops, here, and here, it's a little bit tricky when you get towards the top of the slide, um, to be honest with you, it gets a little bit tricky indeed, but um, we're moving across the slide now, like this, wonderful, and then towards this way, oops, and I f is this the final stretch of the stairs, I hope it is, I really do hope it is, so here we go, yep, this is, no it's not, <laughs> no it's not my bad. I, uh, I thought it was, I was completely wrong. I, I really wish there was. Oh, we've, we've not got too much to do. We've only got like three stairs at the top of this thing, so it's not too bad at all. There we go. And once you get into a rhythm in placing it, it just gets easier and easier and easier anyway. So we're just going to place the, uh, the birch stairs coming all the way up to the top here. And we're just going to have the birch wood slabs like this. Coming all the way up and connecting with the oak wood. Well, once you've got that taken care of, something that you can add at the top of the slide if you like, uh, you can with your quartz slabs just place like a quartz slab here in this position and here in this position and that's just kind of like so you can like hop down the slide if you like. Um, some things that we're going to need to complete it from here onwards, we're going to need a little bit of water, as you might guess. We're also going to need some quartz stairs. We'll also need some never brick fence. And we'll also need ourselves a load of birchwood planks. And we'll need some red wool and some white wool. Okay. So, first of all, we're just going to make the little splash pool right at the bottom of this before we add any water. So, we're just going to completely knock out the little splash pool. This is the part where, um, you know, as you come all the way down the slide, you actually land in this just so that you don't, like, go straight into a wall and break any bones or anything crazy like that. So, I'm just going to dig this out and then I'm going to replace it with water. And this will take a second or two. So, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm just going to cut this out and then I'll be back in a second once I've replaced this entire area of water at the bottom. That's all you You've got to do very very easy oh something you can do and by the way i've just dug out this area now something you can do is you can build some sea lanterns 
into the ground around the pool. So if you like, you can build some lovely looking sea lanterns into the ground around the pool. I'd suggest adding them on the outer edges of the pool. You know where you have those long rows of nine, like underneath the stone slabs? You might just want to place these, like maybe every other block or something like that, just to light up the pool a little bit. Um, the other material that I'm going to be using to complete this after I've added my sea lanterns, I'm then going to be adding block of quartz. And I'm going to be adding these around the lanterns. And something else that I'm going to do, it's very subtle but it does make a difference, I'm going to be digging into the floor again and I'm going to be applying quartz before I apply the water, which is why I've cut this out because this is going to be a very long process. So I'll be back once I've done all of that and it'll be very obvious what I've done and I hope you guys are working on it too. Okay, so that is what the splash ball should look like once it's had all of the lights, all of the quartz, and all of the water added to it. Well, once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the next bit. So, for the next bit, and we do have to amend this pool a little bit. On the left and right hand sides of this pool, we're going to have like little stairs so you can get in and out. So we'll destroy the center block on the left and right. We'll have quartz stairs on the outside part and on top of the sea lanterns that we place like this. And we'll destroy the stone slabs left and right of them as well and we'll place some never brick fence like this in this position and that's just so that you can get in and out of the pool and also if you want so it's a little bit more realistic you can add like another stairs coming into the pool so you can actually like climb out if that makes sense so you can do that to the left and you can also do that to the right hand side so we'll take the center block here we'll place the stairs in at this position Right behind it, we'll destroy the blocks either side, we'll place some never brick fence either side of that as well, and there you have the lights, and uh, you have the guidance so you can get out of the pool. Oh, also you can place the quartz stairs as well in here, can't you? And do we have to top that with water? No, we don't. So, there you go, you can now actually get in and out of the pool. And something else that we can do whilst we do have the water out is if we come all the way up to the top of the slide, we can actually start adding some water to this. So this is a tricky process. Um, so we're going to add a little bit of water starting from the top here. We're going to add three blocks and this starts on the road just below the quartz slabs here. And we're just going to add water where we think we need it. So just so that we get a complete coverage on the slide, we're going to be adding water around it so we'll add some like here for instance and we'll add some a little bit here and do we have to add any more we can add some around here okay so an easier way to do this and i've just remembered how i've done it is if on the straight parts you make it so that the water doesn't flow but on the downhill parts obviously you want it to be flowing downhill don't you so if you just make it flow downwards on the actual downhill parts and if you make the water still on the flat parts you'll get the best result and you'll actually be able to use this thing as kind of like a water slide and sometimes occasionally you'll be able to get a boat down it. Now this isn't 100% guaranteed, I'll let you know that right now, um, because boats sometimes very easily get destroyed. They're not particularly robust, but you can actually like use this as a slide like you can you can go down yourself without any resistance if you make it like this if you make it so that on these flat parts no resistance you don't want to be forced in a particular direction but on the downhill parts if you do make it so that the water flows downwards you will actually be able to use this as a water slide as intended and like i said if you're lucky you might even get a boat down it you never know so that is what you want to have for these slides so far so, once you've got that taken care of, we're now going to move on to the next bit. And the next bit is no fun whatsoever, and it's completely subject to you. So, we're going to put a square bit of land around our water slide. And I'm going to make this square bit of land even. I'm going to make it like I'm going to make it like a 40 by 40 square around this park. And the way that you can do it is if you want to do it my way, um, I'm going to take each one of the four corners here of the circle that we have at the bottom of the ground. I'm going to take the corners and I'm going to extend them outwards by let's say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And then I can do the same thing on the bottom part of this. So I can like outwards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then i can take this side here and i can enter the floor one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then i can take the back here and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and what i want to do is i want to connect each one of these tenth blocks together and this takes a little bit of eyeballing 
but we want to go all the way around the base of the slide and we want to connect each one of these tenth blocks together, outer block to outer block. And what we're eventually going to do once we have connected them together, and it's, it's such a boring part of this, but it is necessary if you want to have an awesome little water park. I mean, this functions as a little mini water park. If, if nothing else, it's, it's not just a slide. I mean, it kind of looks like a little water park. Um, you can connect all these together, and then we're going to put a border around it. We're going to put a quartz slab of border around the square that we're ne inevitably going to end up with. And I did just accidentally mess it up. Uh, I have to place some grass inside there. We'll place a quartz um, slab border going all the way around it, and we'll dig out the area, and we'll place virtual planks in it. So, if you can see that we've now dug out a nice big square area around this, I'm going to wither my quartz slabs going to go all the way around this area with my slab so I'll go all the way around the area in a square fashion like this then I'll dig out the area inside and I'll place some birch planks inside the complete empty space and it's going to take a little while because it'll be a complete empty space so I'm going to do that it's going to be a very timely process I'll be back once I've got that completed and I can show you guys so that ladies and gentlemen is what the outer part of your water slide should look like once you've added the border destroyed everything in between and replaced it with virtual planks. Now that takes a really long time, but it is definitely worth it if you ever want to connect this to any other sorts of water size, <clears throat> or if you ever just want to treat it as its own little water part. And a couple of things that we can add to this to make it look a little bit nicer are, and we'll need some never brick fence, some red wool, some white wool, We'll need some quartz slabs and we'll need some quartz snares. And some couple of things that we can kind of add to make it look a little bit nicer is just some like paracels, some seats. We could even add a lifeguard chair if we wanted to. So I'm going to add some like sunbathing areas to this place. I'm going to add one on the left hand side, one on the right, one on the back. So these things are in line with the very center blocks of the water park so these center blocks also happen to be in line where we have these stairs like for the center part so if we'd like follow this out towards the end part of the park i want the little umbrella to be about three blocks away from the edge so right here i'm going to do two never brick fence right here then i'm going to place a red wall on top like this i'm going to place a red wall going all the way around that red wall and then I'm going to add another layer of red going around it. So I now have like two layers of red going around that. I'm then going to add a layer of white on top of the four original blocks of the red. And then I'm going to add a red on top of the center block of the white. And there we have a little like parasol, a little area to sunbathe. I'm then going to add a quartz stairs right about here with two quartz slabs in front of it and I'll add another quartz stairs right about here on the opposite side with two quartz slabs in front of it and they should be the same distance away each from the little parasol. And not only do I want to do this on like this left hand side but I also want to do the same thing on the right hand side as well. So the right hand side following these stairs out towards the end part here I want to be on, is it on top of the third block? I think it is. I want to have the two never brick fence and then I want to have the red wall and remember you go all the way around the red wall once like this to give you a plus shape and then you go around it again so you do it once you do it twice and they have the facts of life or also known as the base of the parasol we then do the white wool on top of the original plus shape throw a red on top of the center of that white and they have the little parasol here and then we have the quartz stairs right in about this position i think or is it one block away about there i think and then the two quartz slabs they don't have to be perfect and then about here isn't it on the right hand side with the two quartz slabs i'm not doing it perfect guys no i think that those are about even and and then we can come to the back, we can do the same thing. So we'll take the center block on the back, which is this one, if you can see right here. We'll do the same thing. We'll come in, find, we'll, fit, we'll find the third virtual plank in. So we'll place two, um, uh, two fence on top of that. We'll place the red wall on top of that, and we'll go all the way around the red wall like this. We'll go all the way around the red wall once more like this to make the base of the parasol you then want to add the white wool on top of the center plus shape part that we started off with throw the red wool on top of the top center part of the white plus and then we just want to add the little sunbathing chairs left and right and i think that we'll add one right about here with the two quartz slabs in front and we'll add another one on the opposite side so coming right about here just leaving like a gap of two again i think or is it a gap of three hang on let me have a look at these things now that seems about right there we have the 
two chairs and the other parasite and it just adds a little bit of color it just makes the park look a little bit better and if you do want to add that chair it's quite easy to add it if you want to add like the lifeguards chair um just grab yourself some like uh, some oakwood planks we already have most of the materials here and grab yourself uh some ladders as well and we'll also need some signs so if you come to the very front center part here of the little splash pool you can like leave a gap of let's say like five this time so like one two three four and five and on top of this fifth block we can like place a row of two equal plants coming up place a quartz stairs on top of that place a sign either side of that quartz stairs you can then place ladders coming up the front of that and then you can place Neverick Fence on the left and right hand side. And that kind of looks like a little lifeguard chair. And uh, that's just something extra you can add to your pool. And it just makes it look a little bit nicer. And it just makes it look a little bit better. And that's about as much as we're going to be building for this spiral water slide. And... Yeah, I don't think that there's anything else to add, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please do give this, give this video a like, give it a favorite, give it a share, it'd really help me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see how this water park develops, because I'm not sure if you guys have realized, if you look over there in the background, we are very quickly developing our own little water park, aren't we? And I'd love it if you guys could comment down below and let me know what sorts of other things should I add to this. If anything at all, do you want this thing to get bigger, do you want me to add anything else, let me know down there in the comments. Also, follow me on Twitter where you can do the same thing at tsmc360 you're much more likely to get a response there as well because twitter's just a little bit easier to get in touch with people than the youtube comments although i will be down there too i promise check out the card system check out the description below i'll be leaving links to not only that water slide that we can see in the background but i'll also be leaving links to loads of other stuff especially real world stuff that i think that you guys might really enjoy i might even throw a couple of summer builds at you as well Thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite, share if you wouldn't mind. Do all of those things, especially comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>